Hey everyone, Tim Minkins here. So we're going to throw together a quick version. We're gonna call this Fast Data Masking, okay? And that's fine. What we're gonna do is we're going to profile for those who missed it before. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Well, let me, let's go ahead and add our new data set. So we're gonna call this Fast Data Masking DS. Okay, good enough. We're just gonna leave it as is. No subsetting here. Okay, and a new data pool, we'll call it fast data masking DP. Okay, fair enough. All right, now what I wanna do is go ahead and we're going to, basically what we're gonna do is register our table. Okay, and we're going to register our people only table because that's the only thing we're gonna focus on, which is right here. Okay, close, register from I'm gonna register from source. No, nope, that's fine. You can register from source or target. And I probably clicked on it too soon. Um, what I want you to see was all the options that you could get. Okay, that's all I want. Now here's all the options. Like you can do the limit files. There's a lot of stuff you can do whenever you're registering your tables. But what we wanna do is this. Let's go and refresh. I'm gonna kinda of cheat. I'm going to go to my source. I'm going to select all from people. Okay, we're going to run it. And then what I want to do is write all to um, target. Yep. Now that's kind of a cheat way. Um, yeah, it's fine. Um, do you wish to ignore this row and continue? Yeah, it's fine. I don't really care. <clears throat> so this is kind of a cheating way of copying data. Uh, maybe I should look to see what it was thinking of duplicating one of those. Oh, I guess I guess it thought that this was duplication. So let's go and do that again. Sorry. So let's go down to our target travel table. People probably have one. Um, where's our people, 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 people? Elemental P, don't want my alphabet. Oh, there it is. Select all. Wait. Oh, no, I got it. Okay, cool. So we got 411. I wasn't sure what it was calling dupes. I was hoping it was calling this dupe. It should have been calling these dupes because that's all we care about is any primary keys or anything like that. So, um, now with saying that, what we want to talk about is Fast Data Maker. Now in here, we should have a lot. The truth is we didn't have to do the project stuff. I kind of did that just as a way to show you how to bring data over quickly and the idea of creating an actual um, connection all this stuff. All right, so we want to, this is Fast Data Maker. Now, if you go to your drive, just type in Fast Data Maker if you use Windows 10 or something like that. This is the login. You want a connection to your local database, okay? And the database we want to capture let's go ahead and copy connections we'll call this uh connection to local um travel all right there we go and we want this to be travel now there's a underscore in there you can't see it very well we're going to go ahead and save uh file saved and we're going to connect uh, again, it opened up on the other window, so give it a second to open. There it goes. All right, now, this is Fast Data Masker. Now, this name's kind of been around for a while. Um, it's kind of changed a little bit, so I'll give you another reference about that later whenever we look at uh, transformation maps. But what I want to look at real quick, because it shouldn't take long, so I'm going to do people. And I'm going to move people over. And what we want to do is, if you watch the other video, now I can do a where clause. There's a lot of, just like everything else, there's a lot of things I can do in this. Um, just just like you can all the other tools. They put a lot of good information in these tools that you can use. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to say, we want to pick our column to mask. We're going to mask our first name, add. And here you got to be careful. It tries to figure out, it takes the data type, and then it shows you what's available for this data type. Um, now, if we want to do, um, again, you got to be careful because the reason I say be careful because there's date of birth, there's a uh, date of death, but those are kind of numeric in a way.
but I guess because it's a character, it could read either way. Now, if you're looking at keeping consistency between your tables, then you'd want to use the hash. Um, hash a credit card, hash a BSN number, that kind of stuff. Uh, hash a four-digit um, credit card. But what I just want is what we used, this random love. If you remember, um, in the other video, if you watched it, we did a random seed list and we chose last name. So our first name, we're doing first name, right? Yep, first name. So a random US security number. So you can do security numbers, uh, change part of a date, a random number. Here we go, a random list of values from a seed table. Now this is kind of cool because I showed you earlier how you could pull from the database, but you have to make another connection, okay? You could also pull from a file. Some of these files are actually saved on your drive, okay? Um, so we're gonna just stick with the file. Um, what did we look for? Oh, first names. Now we can do American male, American female. There's a lot of them, but we're just gonna do first name here. Uh, we're gonna keep the nulls as respected and the rest of the stuff I'm okay with. So we're gonna go ahead and add another one, okay? So let's go ahead and add. Oops, I'm sorry, not that one. We need to choose last name. So let's remove that one. Yes. Okay, so we're good with that one. Let's go ahead and take a last name. Uh, people. And we choose a last one. Now, if you remember earlier, we could actually put a condition in there. Oh, sorry, it's on the other side. It asked me, do I want to add additional masking for people? And yes, I do. Because I want to add now a last name. Okay. Then let's add it and put it in a different tab. And we're going to do the same thing for it. Um, bear with me. So we're looking for the random list of values. And we're going to do from a file. Again, you'd have to do a database. But if you, I mean, you can do the database, which is the seed list we talked about in GT Data Maker. But the problem with that is I don't have a connection for that because it says, what's your connection? So you'd have to actually log back out where you make that connection. So for now, we'll just keep it, um, we'll just keep it local, okay? And then here we're going to say last name. So if I start typing in, oops. No, I was hoping it would filter, but it didn't. All right, so last names. And as you can see, there's a lot of information that you could pick to put in here. So we're just gonna go with last names. Now, if I have a cross-reference, that's very important. You can create your cross-reference between these. So if I do people, and if I do cities, and my cross-reference is an ID field, then I can do that as well. Um, and the same with this. If the last names and the first names, it keeps it consistent. But since we're within the same table, we don't really care, that's fine. Okay, so now the save is actually way over here. But what we're gonna do is we're going to say, I'm gonna click on this, we got our people. Now, if we need a restart column, let's say if we're going through this and we crashed out somewhere, we need to rerun it, then we can actually have a restart column. Now your options are very important. Now I'm not gonna go through them here. Um, I do recommend when you do this to kind of, just kind of read through them um, because you'll see this on the web as well. But like, do I want an audit? Um, if I did the database stuff, if I chose the database during the file, some of my database information would fill it out. Um, hash dates, is the dates okay? The one thing that is recommended um, is a, there's chunk size, there's what is the date, overwrite today's date if you wanted to. The There's one that is actually, I don't see it right now, but there's one that can say, run it first to see what it's gonna do, which is what we do with a customer, and then commit it because uh, commit a thousand after each thousand rows, uh, table to be masked. So there's a lot of good, a lot, a lot, a lot of good settings. I'm not gonna say here and go through them, like I said. I was trying, yeah, here's the C table connection. That would have been filled out if we chose the C table. This would have filled out automatically for you, uh, but I chose a file instead, which is fine. Uh, restart, pre-step. So, but one of these says, try this first. Um, audit masking, possible all samples. But anyway, you have to trust me on that. <laughs> so, um, there is one of these that actually says, hey, test this first, then run it. And I'm pretty sure it's one of these right here. Uh, let's go to summary. So here's what our summary looks like. 
Now, you barely can read it down here. So we're using the last name, first name. We're doing a, a random list of values. And of course, you could have as many of these as possible. Um, now we're going to go over here and we're going to say save mask. Now, this is kind of important because I'm going to save it to my desktop. You can save this and come back later and run it. Okay. And then uh, let's see. Oh, I was thinking of the, okay, so the other tool, this is the Fast Data Maker, I'm sorry, Fast Data Masker. Um, whenever you do a transformation mask map, you can export that to import it here. That's what I was looking for. All right, so we're just going to save and run. Uh, keep in mind, well, let's make sure our data is here first. Uh, travel E, we've got a list of people. Let's go ahead and order by, so we're consistent, order by... Um, First name. Actually, let's order by ID. That would, that'd make more sense. Sorry. Order by ID. Okay. And now let's go ahead and run it. That's what we got. The the good and the bad about the masking is once you run it, it's ran, right? So that's why you gotta be really careful at running this. Um you wanna make sure it's really what you want to do. Because if not, you got a lot of cleanup to do. Now you can't see the other screen, and I wish I could drag it over, but it says mask complete, and there's a little this little right here came up to tell me what happened. Okay, so that's cool. I can save that. I can print it whatever I need to. Uh, but basically, it's just a, a rolling log, right? So let's go ahead and close. Now if I go back to here, I'm looking at Gildenhorn. If I execute this, now notice I no longer have that user. So it's that simple. That's how you use the Fast Data Masker. Um, is my recommendation on just masking tables and stuff. The key to that is you really have to spend time. Unlike doing the, if you saw the other video, we created a subset and we kind of masked it on the fly. This you'd have to go through here and actually find the stuff that you're looking for and just mask them the way we did here. Um, hope this helps.